Hey friends. So I finally hit the point where I can actually explain if I need to explain more than what you saw just now uh, in the pictures of this motor when I got it, the condition of it when I got it. This bracket assembly right here, center mass of the screen, could not have mounted properly on this motor if I did not spend a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of sweat to pull this motor apart, separate the block from the cradle, remove the crank, and then might as well, since I'm in there, get the block tested for cracks, problems. Took the cradle down to Bob Jones at Precision, uh, not Precision, no, Bob Jones at Jones Auto Works here in San Antonio. He's an independent Porsche guy. His father and he have been doing that for probably 50 years. So he fabricated, and I used an old cradle from an old motor, and I cut that piece off right here. This large piece off of the old motor and gave it to Bob, and Bob was able to... to fabricate this, get this all in service and working. And he asked me for this bracket, which it took me a long time to find it because I wasn't sure what I was looking for. Brought him a couple different ones. They were the incorrect ones. I finally found the right one. He said, that's it. He said, the only thing he needed was the cradle and this bracket and the bolts to hold it on. So I brought that to him. He fixed it and 13, $1,400 later, we have this. So. Based on what you saw in the previous photos of this engine with that damage, this bracket could not have mounted to the block properly and support the alternator. It just would, would be impossible. And I believe that is why Richard Van Mitteron and his colleagues or a previous owner of that motor abandoned the motor. They said it's going to be too much, which is good advice. Richard probably gave whoever owned this motor good, you know, good advice. Hey, it's, it's useless. Can't use it because that damage right there was so significant, so bad. And here it is underneath. Now this bracket is on here. And it's secure. And it's tight. Meaning not tight, the bolts aren't fully tight yet, but the actual bushing in there is tightly fit. The sleeve that it goes onto and the bolt nicely goes in here. So we had a major problem. And now we have a major fix and major success. And I've got to get a nut to that right here. Problem success. So, and I'm here to report on just that. The conclusion of a, of a very big problem, a very real problem, which I let Richard Van Mitteron know when I picked up this motor and he said, let's switch it out for another one. But it would take three days and the motor that he was gonna give me would have been a hot motor out of the white S4 and I'm glad I did not take it or encourage him to do so. And I'm glad I took this and bit the bullet you know, other people's trash I'm taking and making into works of beauty. There it is. Cheers. Okay, friends, so you just saw pictures um, and the video of the M2842 motor, the damages. And remember, this is the second S4 motor that I've gone through. Um, so you saw the pictures and you saw the video of uh, the damage and then the video of <clears throat> the repairs. So I was able to fix the second motor. The first motor, the M28.41, the, the five-speed motor, and I'm keeping the five-speed, putting it on the 42. 
Here now, I'm gonna put pictures of the first motor and its problems, okay? The uh, broken cylinder number one, the crack in it and the really bad damage. Um, and it was damage that exceeded my ability or even my scope of understanding at the time to fix. Even though Greg Brown said he could have re-sleeved that entire unit um, at the time, I wasn't thinking correctly. I wasn't uh, as experienced as I am now. So I did not opt to do that. Um, I just thought the thing was junk. I threw it away. Um, I would never do that again, especially on an M2841 block. So lesson learned, but you're now looking at the first motor. You're going to be looking at the first motor now and the damage of, of it. And of course, the current pictures of um, uh, the way the car is right now and the way the motor is right now. Um, so I'm getting close to getting this thing really, you know, it's coming together. So hope you enjoy it. I'm enjoying making it for y'all. Okay, have a good night. Cheers. bye-bye.